welcome everyone to another episode of Yale College Voices. So I'm your host, Darice Corey, in case you don't know already. And I'm really excited to uh, have you join our conversation today with, with Sergio Gonzalez. Um, so Sergio has a passion for sustainability and a commitment to enhancing student experiences, um, which you know, leaves an indelible mark on, on their experience in Yale College. So welcome, uh, Sergio. I'm so I'm so glad you could finally join us today. Oh. <laughs> we, had, we had some scheduling. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Thank you so much for having me. This is really yeah. a, a real treat. Oh, I awesome. My pleasure. And, and, and I'm so happy to have you. Um, so Sergio, I'm just going to introduce you to Sergio and tell you a little bit about Sergio before we get started. Uh, so Sergio is the Assistant Director of Operations for Silliman College. Um, he brings a, a unique perspective uh, to our discussion today because uh, Sergio navigates the intricate uh, world of college operations, um, ensuring the well-being of students while champion, championing the uh, sustainability initiatives at Silliman. And uh, from transforming spaces, and I, I can't wait to hear more about <laughs> that, uh, to fostering a green oasis for students at Silliman's Acorn Cafe. Uh, Sergio's journey is a testament to his innovative spirit and dedication. So again, welcome, welcome. I can't even take all that gas in <laughs> it's That's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. So, so Sergio, I did, uh, you, you provided a bio, but I, you know, I, on every guest I have on the podcast, I, yeah. I do some Googling yeah, and see what I can find. I yeah. can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to dive into your story and, cool. um, you know, explore any kind of uh, uh, pivotal moments that you're willing to share with us, and whether it's your educational or your professional journey. Sure. Um, and, you know, just talk about your commitment to uh, sustainability and, and DEIB here at Yale mm -hmm, College. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, welcome. Uh, so now I'm going to read your bio now that I've... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right. Let's so Ser go. Sergio is the Assistant Director of Operations for Silliman College, as I mentioned, uh, which is one of the 14 residential colleges here at uh, Yale College. Uh, so in his role, Sergio, Ser Sergio works closely with the head of college, the dean, and administrative team to manage the daily happenings of one of the most um, or one of the highest traffic uh, spaces on campus. Silliman College is the largest and arguably the best, <laughs> so you. there's some mm -hmm. competitiveness there, <laughs> uh, uh, undergraduate residence encompassing four, block, four city blocks. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. uh, from its student-ran uh, coffee shop to its wellness center to its amazing dining hall, Sergio keeps busy making sure these and other spaces are welcoming pockets of community and self-care for its users. On a normal day, you'll find Sergio anywhere from working on seasonal events with staff to advocating for student resources and committees with campus partners to hands-on remodeling of underutilized or outdated spaces at Silliman. Outside of work, Sergio enjoys being a father and husband, playing sports, cooking, his friends and family, uh, learning new things, and living life through the lens of his five and 10-year-old children. So now I'm going to go into the stuff that Sergio didn't share in his bio. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now I'm going to embarrass you a little okay. bit. But, uh, but no, these are all great things about Sergio. Uh, Sergio is dedicated to enhancing the uh, student residential experience at Yale College, um, specifically Silliman, while prioritizing sustainability. So Sergio's uh, responsibilities span across all facets of life at Silliman College, from managing energy usage, uh, building maintenance to oversee budgeting and student well-being. And beyond the uh, conventional duties of his role, Sergio goes above and beyond uh, to support sustainability and student wellness. So one notable initiative uh, led by Sergio is the transformation of the former Fellows Lounge uh, into the Acorn Cafe, which is a sustainable coffee shop at Silliman. Uh, so this project reflects his fearless approach to trying unconventional ideas. Uh, as a former restaurant manager, and that's something I didn't know about <laughs> you, uh, Sergio envisioned and executed the cafe from scratch, ensuring it aligned with green principles. So things like reusing cups, minimizing takeout containers, 
and sourcing sustainability, uh, sourcing sustainably. Uh, the Acorn Cafe serves as a haven for students seeking uh, respite from academic pressures. So over the last seven years, or has it been more than seven years at Silliman? I don't think so. I think it's been about seven. About seven. Mm -hmm. uh, Sergio has spearheaded um, a range of sustainability projects, working alongside uh, former head of college, Lori Santos, and our current head of college, um, and I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. Head of college, Ariel Baskin Somers. Got it. Got mm -hmm. it. Um, from uh, planting vegetable and pollinator gardens, I didn't realize you do that as well, <laughs> uh, to creating a lending library for used textbooks, Sergio actively contributes to reducing environmental impact. His latest endeavor involves a lending closet, uh, diverting items from dumpster to uh, diverting items from the dumpster to reduce consumption and foster community. Uh, Sergio's passion for sustainability, stemming from his own college experiences, uh, is evident in his commitment to empowering students through hands-on initiatives. So one last thing about Sergio, uh, many of the alumni from Silliman College attest to his positive influence and re resourcefulness in sustainability initiatives. Uh, Sergio's ability to find uh, thriftier and more sustainable ways to gather materials showcases his dedication. His impact extends beyond projects, uh, creating a supportive and transparent environment. His blend of uh, being a parent-like figure and a down-to-earth individual has endeared him to the Yale, com Yale College community making a lasting impact on the culture of sustainability at Sil Silliman College. So again, welcome, oh, Sergio. <laughs> Thank you. That was super embarrassing. <laughs> what I was hearing there is that I'm cheap is really what, what it comes down to. The <laughs> That's awesome, though. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's a talent, right? Actually, I mean. Yeah, to, I mean, we all live it, right? Yeah, you know? yeah. To, to approach everything with, you know, keeping in mind sustainability and cost mm -hmm. savings mm -hmm. and things like that. So. I was I was wondering, Sergio, if if you don't mind, um, to share a little bit about your early years, or like what is there something about your childhood, or maybe you know high school to college years that kind of shaped your sure values. Like, yeah, and, I mean that's a good question, one that I probably haven't thought too much about, <laughs> but I'm happy to do that here. The um, I think when I look back, uh, one of the biggest pieces uh, that two of the biggest pieces that have afforded me the luxury of being equipped to handle this kind of responsibility mm -hmm. is my work career and, and my life, you know, and the way it's kind of the trajectories, the two parallel roads yeah. have gone together as mm -hmm. I've gotten older. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we could dig into the crates and go right, way back right. if we wanted, you know, <laughs> but really, um, you know, out of college, um, trying to pursue a career, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. really, bachelor's in Spanish really wasn't getting me yeah. exactly where I <laughs> wanted to go you know right right so I I worked my way through the restaurant business from mm -hmm. the ground up mm -hmm. um thinking that I wanted kind of this opportunity to learn what business management was yeah. about okay so I always told people that like I was getting paid for my graduate studies right you know? right so uh, through that uh road in the food industry there was mm -hmm. so many valuable lessons that you were taking in and I mm -hmm. find I don't know if it's true or not, but mm -hmm. from 21 to 28, you're really sponging it up. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you're trying to <laughs> climb that ladder as yes, fast as, as you as humanly you can. can. Right. You know, so I'm trying to see who's next. Where can I get onto the next rung? Yeah, yeah. Asking all these questions. And I remember being a, a cook and a server harassing the kitchen manager, like, when are you going to let me, <laughs> you know, run the line? You know, when am I going to get behind the bar? You right, know? right. I remember doing that for like eight months, mm -hmm. and uh, there was an area director who walked in the little restaurant, little American restaurant that we were mm -hmm. working at, um, and I sat her down. I was like, you know, Kim, I'm like, I'm bilingual and consider myself bicultural. I, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've learned every single thing inside of your restaurant. Like, how come I'm not getting an opportunity to be mm -hmm. a manager? Mm -hmm. Just on a whim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a week later, I'm sitting at an interview table. Oh wow! You know, and they hired me in think it was like thirty five thousand yeah. dollars yeah, a year yeah. you mm -hmm. know and i remember driving home in this used camry uh -huh. like <laughs> feeling like at the top yes. of the world yes yes I'm like why do i feel that way right, right. now because like, i did it yep. on my own right you know yeah and i saw measured success yes like yes. finding ways to get there so that yeah. was like the first 
That's awesome. lesson, right? You know, right. that was a, a big one. And then, then came being a manager in these types of operations. Mm-hmm. And something that people used to always say to me, that stuck in my head, mm-hmm. people that had been through it before me, was you have to have ownership mm. mentality. Right. right. Run it like you own it. Yes. Like it doesn't matter if it's corporate. It doesn't matter. Like run it like you own it. Every single piece here, mm-hmm. you know. And so that really, if you can think that way, going the extra mile is just natural. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, it's just part of the way that you work. How you, your approach, yeah. And so again, at that young age, getting that, I realized that was a way to kind of jump ahead. Right. It became a big part of who I am as a worker. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I said earlier, the parallel line of what my personal life was like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, settling down, uh, buying a home. The first home I bought was a a house from the 1920s. Mm -hmm. Uh, The real estate agent said it had good bones. (laughs) Good bones, yeah. And uh, And and a lot of renovation. Yeah, you know, you peel away these rugs and there's hardwood floors. You know, I'm like, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what to do with this. I know. know, I didn't even know how to use a screwdriver. Really? At like 20-something years old. Mm -hmm. I remember my girlfriend, then my wife Uh at the time, my girlfriend, Mm -hmm came and she came from a, a hard-working family mm-hmm. uh that had built the dad had built his house with his own hands oh you know? my gosh and so me yeah you know, i was a faculty <laughs> brat pressure. you know like who <laughs> was in this house that i just bought because uh-huh. it was at an affordable price and mm-hmm. uh and i didn't know what to do I, I was she saw me once i think hanging like a curtain rod mm-hmm. and i was trying to screw in <laughs> on this on the wood framing right. with this you know phillips Tiny screwdriver, screwdriver and she's yeah. like what are you doing <laughs> Like, why don't you have a drill? I was like, I don't need a drill. Yeah, what yeah. Is it? I don't need the drill. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, those lessons, you know, from the first floor that I refinished in my uh, 1920s home yeah. to redoing the moldings to, oh, that's to doing all the repairs there, learning a little bit about electrical and plumbing, doing mm-hmm. the stuff in your house, yeah. realizing you can really do it. And the more you yeah. did stuff that you were kind of fearlessly taking on, yeah. the mistakes that you took on, mm-hmm. and realized that they're not that bad. Yeah. And the... The growth that you get from that right. really created someone who was like, okay, I can, I can do that. You can do it, Why yeah. Not? And then to add to that, you know, when you, when you go into home ownership and before that also, but when you go into home ownership and you have a piece of land, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're small, nothing. Yeah. It was nothing. Yeah. But you had grass, and you're like, wow, right? I can grow it's mine. something yeah. <laughs> on this, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I remember the first garden that I planted. Mm-hmm. I went out. I went outside with a. a a steak knife yeah <laughs> and i cut out you know the sod and i was pe- i was like butterflying it yeah, off of yeah. the ground and right. then i turned it with like a pitchfork oh, and i planted funny. some seeds but stuff came it up it came up yeah you know? when it comes up it's like, like wow I this did is this. Yeah. amazing you know election <laughs> right <laughs> so anyway yeah. you get those little experiences under your belt yeah you know in your uh, late 20s and, mm-hmm. and early 30s and by mm-hmm. the time you hit the ground running in a position as an operations manager yeah at a university and you realize that that job is so unique yeah. and interesting. Right. That you can pull into your skill sets and use them to your advantage. Yeah. And I think that that's, that's where I really, you know, made my kind of meat and potatoes here. Yeah. At Silverman, right? That's so awesome. And I, gosh, I, I wish I, I've always wished I had that. Um, I, I don't, I don't even know what I'd call it, but you know, around my house, I, I'm yeah. like, Oh, I, I would love to do, you know, I'd oh, love to tile it. my floors you and I would, just do do the first <laughs> thing it, and then yeah. it leads to the second it's thing. Scary. I get I guess I get nervous when it's like, oh God, I have to cut yeah. tile <laughs> and, and get it right, you know, yeah. either that or but mess that disappears, up and, you know. Yeah. Uh, another uh short story, like mm-hmm. I used to get super nervous when I had to talk in front of people, right? Mm-hmm. Um and like uh I remember like my hands would get sweaty. My face would like turn yeah. red. Yep, yep. All the things, you know, would happen. <laughs> but like when I got that first manager job, mm-hmm. I had to do the pre meal service things. Yeah. Know, the things behind what they call the back of the house. Right. Where you get all the servers together, all the cooks, and oh, you talk yeah. about what's happening. You yep. go over the wine, the specials, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And everyone like form a circle around you. Mm-hmm. And sure mm-hmm. enough, Sergio would start yeah. you know, getting that <laughs> the sweat. Pressure, yeah. And I remember like the servers are Kind of make fun because, you know, we would have a nice light a mm-hmm. sense of humor there. Make fun of me like, oh, he's turning red again. Oh, no. <laughs> but I used to tell the managers that I work with, I was like, nope, let me yeah, let me get out there because eventually You'll this is going to go. It. Yeah, it took yeah. took much longer really? <laughs> than I really wanted it to. <laughs> but it left. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure it'll come back here and there. Yeah. But the point of that was that, like, 
take on the thing that scares you. Yeah, you know, it's so true. Um, take yeah. on the thing that scares you, and you can uh, you can grow from that. Absolutely, yeah. I, I mean, even and I I've probably said it during every episode of this podcast. Like this wasn't when I when I presented the idea, I really had the vision of myself being sort of behind the scenes. Like mm-hmm. you know, I can coordinate the technical stuff and whoever mm-hmm. wants to mm-hmm. you know appear on the video and do this stuff and it kind of just fell into you know onto my plate and i was like i don't, I don't that's not my thing you know yeah, but your thing is uh, i've i've known you for some time yeah, now yeah. and you've always been someone that's kept yourself growing thank and, you and looking for different ways to do stuff and yeah. learn stuff it's really you've been a great role oh, model. i appreciate that thank mm-hmm. you and i and yeah so it's been it's actually been great because it's outside of my comfort zone mm-hmm. and you know, and it helps me too. It's funny you say that about public speaking because I had a my little short story. Uh, uh, I I had the same thing. Like I would totally, you know, yeah, I'd get nervous, stage yeah. fright. You'd start seeing yeah. sweat, just like <laughs> trickles of <laughs> yeah. sweat come down. Um, and it happened by accident. I was uh, this was years ago before I even came to Yale. Um, I was laid off actually. Mm-hmm. And a school uh, locally contacted me to teach a course. And I was like, it, and it was a topic I know, you know, very well, but I was like, teach, I don't, I don't know if you want me to do that, you know? And, and uh, yeah, and I, but I, you know, I needed a job. So I said yes. And, you know, it, it took a, a couple courses, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> to mm-hmm. get over that stage fright, but you know, once I really started doing it and I, you know, I learned, um, I knew the material, but I had to learn delivery, you yeah. know, and, and like yeah. how I present my material sure. and all that stuff. And then I, you know, I got over it, but it, you know, occasionally it comes back up. You'll see yeah. like a little, a little sweat come That's down. That's okay. Your body would remind you. It's <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Right. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's like, you don't, you won't, you won't know until you do it. Mm-hmm. Right. Or get, mm-hmm. you know, practice yeah i love get, that yeah yeah so it's like you just have to do it there's Never no other yeah there's no yourself. way around it Absolutely. right that's mm-hmm. so awesome um I, and so i'd love to hear more about um you know you mentioned you just kind of went ahead and did it like so how did you take your your personal experiences with with home renovation and, and like you said it's like okay this is your home that you own it's your you know it's your property and you can do you know yeah, do what you please sure but you you brought that into your work here at, mm-hmm. at the university so how how did um you know how did what you learned at home uh kind of transfer into what you do here in, yeah in i mean as when we're talking about uh, actual like r- renovation you know yeah, yeah. um that that came out of uh what we see Know, to to drive uh, big results mm-hmm. in a residential college, although um, the university is really generous to us and given us a budget yeah. to be able to work on everything from programmatic events, mm-hmm. teas, yeah. seasonal stuff, mm-hmm. um, grants you yeah. know for student travel, mm-hmm. so many really cool things mm-hmm. that really support the student. It'll go, yeah. you know, that stuff will go fast. You don't have money to invest fifty, seventy k in a. And a coffee, well, a coffee mm-hmm. shop would have been two hundred fifty thousand wow. dollars, you know, yeah. um, quarter million dollars to to do something wow. really well, yeah, right, yeah. And That's so, amazing. but students still want the place to feel either homey mm-hmm. or useful in the way that they want it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and one concept that we had uh, early on, and this is you know testament to to, to Lori Santos at the time, you know, mm-hmm. uh, not being very fearless mm-hmm. in, in these things as well. And so we collaborate really well together, mm-hmm. as I do with Mark Baskin Summers. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just been really lucky to have people yeah. that have um, had confidence in me, mm-hmm. have been visionary um, to be able to execute these things. But, That's awesome. you know, we looked at these things and we're like, hey, we could try to wait three years to make this thing happen. Right. Or we could do it all out cheap. You know, how are we going to? We could try to figure it out ourselves. And a lot of times, any of these ideas have always, we really want them to be student-driven. Mm. And so it starts starts at a study break, mm-hmm. you know, with a couple of seniors. Like, hey, like, you could have this mm-hmm. fellow's lounge. Yeah. Be whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. What would you want? Mm-hmm. Well, how about a coffee shop? How about a coffee shop? Oh, you know? that's so cool. Um, And then trying to sort out how you're going to do that, yeah. you know, on a on a budget. And so... Um, 
sustainability was all always something that was top of mind mm -hmm. and that i think these residential college spaces are great training grounds mm. for global citizens oh you know, yeah right yeah um absolutely and so if we could find ways uh to foster kind of care in the planet and mm -hmm. being responsible in the way that you do things right out there navigating social atmosphere and yeah. stuff it's just it's great for yeah. so many different reasons right yeah thousands yeah. so every single thing that you do you can push a little bit of that in there and right. so with the coffee shop we're like cool let's just try to make this as green as possible yeah you know so let's start it's gonna benefit us we mm -hmm. can't really do it any yeah, other yeah. way anyways right <laughs> right um and frankly we also thought that like the spaces need to feel like a student space right um and this isn't taken away from the beautiful uh super expensive or modern furniture that you'll see across mm -hmm. campus, right? Mm -hmm. But when you go into the Acorn Coffee Shop, I it's love grungy. It. Yeah. You know, it's used stuff from a student's room that mm -hmm. they donated. Yeah, yeah. Um, you it's know. cool, though. I, I love the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Didn't you mention the wood came from somewhere else? Like you yeah. used wood from... So, well, I mean, I have... Uh, we have a, a, a mug club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I uh, love that. And it no. has all the mugs displayed. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm was, a mug person. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that was, uh, I, I come from uh, Middletown, Connecticut. And mm -hmm. there's a, a cool little place there called uh, Eli Cannons. Mm. Um, and it's a tap room. And I remember when I turned 21, <laughs> could go in there. Yeah. I was at the bar there once and there was all these mugs in the background i'm sure people mm. have seen this all over the place right mm -hmm. but that's where i saw it right right and i'm like what are those mugs back there she's mm -hmm. like that's the mug club I'm like oh cool i want to be <laughs> yeah. She's like no there's like a five-year waiting like someone's oh, really? gonna die for you to get oh, on the mug God. club i was like okay <laughs> but i was like this is cool I'm like, and yeah. then i saw someone come in you know sit down and she gets the big pole and she oh, brings the mug so down cool. i'm like wow it's like a tradition you know so yeah. comes in gets his mug gets his beer and sits back and oh like, that's wow, really cool that's interesting so uh, when we were thinking about ideas and brainstorming and thinking mm. about reusing mugs, I'm like, how about a mug club? Yeah. We're like for the regulars. And so we oh, all like so that cool. idea. I love that. And we had to think about how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and we could have just put hooks somewhere. Uh -huh. But I had remembered that the first, um, uh, like, the back, what do you call the back of the bed? Like the, um, uh, the, the like headboard. headboard yep. Yeah, the first headboard that we had. Uh, I had made out of pallet wood, mm -hmm. just kind of laid it out in the basement, and mm -hmm. it was free wood. You yeah, know? So I took it apart and sanded it, and then put it out in the and basement in a way that like we liked the design, and then kind mm -hmm. of bracketed it in the back with some studs, oh, put it up cool. on the wall, yeah, and I painted it with a white, and it was like it was cool. So I, I remember yeah. I was able to use pallet wood to like mm -hmm. make a big thing. I was like, why don't we do something out of pallet wood? And oh, kind of wow. did the same thing there, you know. Yeah, built this four by six you know, structure. Right. Um, and then just it looks so cool. Put it on the wall, put yeah. hooks on it and threw some, you know, used mugs. I think if my sister ever comes, she'll be like, that was my mug <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> like, that's so using cool. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that idea. And that, see, that's what I mean. I'm like, I, you know, I love how it looks and, mm -hmm. and it's, it's gorgeous, cool. yeah. but I don't have the, uh, yeah. It's like, you know, that vision of, yeah. of using something and turning it into I something else. I don't buy it, but, I don't. <laughs> I'm like, see, I don't have the know-how. I'm not. I'm not good with a drill or saw. <laughs> so <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Um, now, curious. Uh, you know, going going back into your your role here at, at mm -hmm. the college, were were there certain experiences? Maybe I don't know. Early on, or halfway, or just recently that um, I don't know. Just kind of uh, transformed your your commitment to mm. uh number one the uh sustainability but um even more importantly the the student experience like you said like this becoming sort of their home away from home yeah um, i don't know if there's there's one but it's been a compilation of experiences from the you know i came in here through the dining services department mm -hmm. because that was my end right mm -hmm. from the restaurants right, that yeah. came in. and they had a commitment to sustainability which i found fascinating really yeah, the way that they uh, sourced their products mm -hmm. um, and they worked closely with sustainability on initiatives. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool. It was hard to translate it into such a big operation. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to show that to the to the consumer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But in the back office from where I was sitting, mm -hmm. it was evident that mm -hmm. they were trying really hard 
to do this. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that that was really cool. So that was an inspiration to be able to do it here internally. But Mm -hmm. then all the different pieces, you know, the, the, um, if you talk to another ADO, Mm -hmm. assistant director of operations, Mm -hmm. they might tell you to do something completely different. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, We all align in certain places, but we do different things. Different approaches. Yeah. And they are amazing at the things that they do. Mm -hmm. And if you ever have them sitting behind the mic, they'll tell you the same stuff, you know, but, um, the, this position started years ago uh, with the head of college. Her name was uh, Judy Krause. In fact, mm-hmm. she was in Silliman. She was wonderful. Mm-hmm. And uh, she really uh, advocated for additional administrative support. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of f- someone that could be like the right hand of yeah. the head of college. Mm-hmm. And so with that, you had to understand what the head of college wanted. Mm-hmm. To be able to support that in the best way. Mm. So if someone wanted me to be in the back office, crunching numbers, mm-hmm. putting out reports, mm-hmm. talking about the financials constantly, mm-hmm. and, and driving it from that angle, right. then that's who I would be. Mm-hmm. You know, if mm-hmm. Ariel came in and was like, you know, that's really. Can you send me weekly reports on mm-hmm. what's happening financially here? Mm-hmm. Then that's who I would be, and yeah. I wouldn't be Sergio, who's you know remodeling something, right, or, right. or you know moving a holiday tree <laughs> out into the courtyard for <laughs> really? a winter gathering. You know, so like. You just never, you have yeah. to be able to be flexible yeah, with, yeah. with what there is. But thankfully, I guess, for the things that uh, I'm pretty decent at, mm-hmm. um, the folks that have been around me uh, mm-hmm. not only uh, have liked those things, mm-hmm. um, but I think also value that uh, folks do their best work when they do things that they love. Yeah, yeah, right? absolutely. And so, and that's kind of a big, big lesson in, in, in management in general mm-hmm. when you have people. Yes. that are working with you, try to put them in positions that they're enjoying themselves. Right. Because they'll do their best work. Exactly. You know? Yeah, um, when you lo- when you love coming to work every day. Yeah. Oh, I got the it, best job. Yeah. Best job on the, the planet. That's I always awesome. tell people. Really? That, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's um, great. I mean, and, it, and it's so true. It's like if, if uh, and this has come up too in other episodes, it's like if I, if you give me room to, to grow and, and really truly love my job and, you know, love what I can contribute, like yeah. all of these other experiences that you have mm-hmm. th- that you bring to the table, but you're able to, uh, you know, use them as tools Yeah, yeah. in, in different aspects. It's, then it's like, yeah, it's like I love getting up every day, mm-hmm. you know, and going to work. But, and this isn't, a, 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 you can't do it without the right people around you. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. And, uh, you know, I would put our team against anyone yeah yeah you know um it's it's the best team i think i've ever worked with Mm -hmm. when laurie was here with ariel here with the administrative assistants that are there Mm -hmm. the staff uh from top to bottom really amazing kara and the head of college house Mm -hmm. you know like the brilliance that comes out of those positions and the things that they're supposed to be doing um makes it so that i can open up to do other things yeah if not i would be doubling back and Right. Doing something more financial or doing yeah. something more in the house, but like they cover their bases right. and then some, and cover me. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And so they kind of clear the obstacles oh, for absolutely. you, so that mm-hmm. yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, you know, I'm curious on a on a daily basis because I know you love your job, but are there certain aspects that you know bring you the most? satisfaction or things that you just like oh i I hope i get to do that today or you know (laughs) no you know i'm a big uh punch list Uh guy Uh um and so really accomplishing tasks Mm -hmm. getting them off of the list yeah um is really my driving force really by the end of the day Mm -hmm. Uh, but i do love to uh beautify the spaces Mm -hmm do like i like big change mm-hmm. i remember uh, i was using the example of a painter who gets to paint that wall before they leave they're like yeah. oh look at that beautiful right look right something, you know <laughs> exactly um you know I, I like that feeling and so when i get to uh you know tie into the physical aspects of the job mm-hmm. i'm taking some cabinet doors off and mm-hmm. we, you know that's, that's really always cool. nice and we're cognizant that some of that you know a lot of the stuff uh, is superficially aesthetic. It's, mm-hmm. We're not really driving into spaces that we shouldn't be right. driving into. Right. Um, you know, by by contract, for example. Yeah. You know, yeah. we we get 
the folks that are supposed to do the work to do the to work do that it, they yeah, have to. Yeah. But you know, if I pull the cabinet door off, and yeah, it, it's not a big deal. That's awesome. Um, so I, I love doing that. But mm -hmm. frankly, I, I do have to say that I think the the biggest job satisfaction is spending time with the people mm. that you work with, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, so yeah. I've got an office on the fourth floor of Silliman College. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's up there in a corner mm -hmm. somewhere. It's mm -hmm. not far from the coffee shop, which yeah, is great, yeah. in the wellness center. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but I spend most of my time in the administrative office downstairs. If yeah, you show up yeah. to Silliman, you go to the first floor, I'm plopped down somewhere there. I'm mm. harassing someone yeah, in some yeah. office, just <laughs> messing around, having right. a good time. Yeah. Um, and that's really what brings... The yeah. most joy, yeah, for sure. absolutely. With Deanna, when Ashley, Ticey, Ariel, Kara, yeah, those, you know, the the five that I see the most often. Right. Yeah, you know. it's like your extended family. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Good that's people. awesome. And one and one of the things that I remember, um, I think this was over the summer. Uh, so a student, one one of the student workers, gave us a tour of of Silliman, hmm. uh, when we were there with the the folks from uh, uh, Clover. You know? Right, right. Um, right. And uh, you know, and it, the one thing that really stood out for me was, uh, you know, we went through, and forgive me because I can't remember the location, but there were all the murals uh, yeah. in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. Those were some amazing. Oh really my cool, gosh! Right? Like the artwork, and you know, I took some photos because I was like, these are so beautiful. They're I amazing. wish, I wish we could do it everywhere. That you started know? a few years. Uh, well, when uh, head of college Lori Santos came in. Mm -hmm. um, she remembered that there was that other school up north. Mm -hmm. You know, there's uh, <laughs> there's yeah. one house that has some sort of mural uh -huh. thing, and what happens is uh, the walls are all taken up now, and oh, so okay. every year you have to vote on the few that you take oh, down. Really? You know, oh. you have to paint over, right? Yeah. And so it became a tradition there. She was like, "It'd be cool if we can do it." You know, you think we could do it here? Yeah. Like, we talked to facilities, and and again, they've always been really flexible with really? us uh, in a in a supportive way yeah. for the students. If it's a student-driven initiative. They, they're, um, yeah, they work with and you. And so that's been wonderful. Um, but uh, wonderful. they said, yeah, you know, if you guys if you guys want to tape up the floors. Uh -huh. and, and so, again, you know, it was a trip down to the local hardware store, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of blue tape, yeah, yeah. a bunch of tarps. <laughs> yep. um, and we would set up stations. We had the students sign up for murals and, and oh, give us so kind beautiful. of a... An example of what they're going to do to make mm -hmm. sure it's not anything yeah, too crazy. Yeah, appropriate, yeah. Right? <laughs> and then uh, we'd have a paint weekend, you know. That where is so awesome. Friday's at 5, you yeah. go down there. You, uh, there was kind of a fun part of it, too, where um, I would go down with the aides and we would do, like, you know, four-foot mural spaces mm -hmm. and then put tape on the left and on the right okay. to denote, like, this is So this yours, is your spot, yeah. Right? And then put with pencil numbers one two three mm -hmm. probably like 15 or 20 per year yeah you know? um because it's a really long hallway it's a huge like hallway and we're almost oh, full now so after beautiful. five or, or seven years but wow. um but uh yeah and then uh, the thursday before painting we sent an email to all the people that signed up like mm -hmm. okay you can go down now and pick your yeah pick your so spot. you go and you write your name down oh, okay there okay. may have been some people that have erased people's <laughs> names and put their own <laughs> yeah you know, because they're selected the ones prime you really location, want. Yeah. You, you want to be right there. So. And people have done no, amazing work. it's so work. gorgeous. So I, cool. I wish, uh, you know, we'll have to talk after because it's yeah. little things like that that uh, I don't, you know, many many folks can't, aren't able to see in the colleges mm -hmm. that, uh, mm -hmm. especially people like me, I don't interface directly with students or, um, you know, I'm not present in the colleges. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's just such an awesome thing to see like oh my the, gosh you know the community inside they're so the talented colleges. yeah yeah they're, they're amazing and it was so and it, it was just beautiful because like the colors just everything mm -hmm. the artwork it, it was There's gorgeous a student, uh right now we're we're redoing the, the student kitchen it's a beautiful large space mm -hmm. but it's really outdated and, yeah and so we've tried to think about different ways to, to, to do that on beautify a budget, it. Yeah, yeah yeah and uh so murals came to mind and one of the office aides you know i just talk to people all the mm -hmm. time I'm like you you good at you like art she's like yeah mm -hmm. i love art yeah you want to do a mural <laughs> sure <I'm> like <laughs> you know so cool. what something in the so she's going to do something in the kitchen and she oh, sent me so a few samples the other day and it's just amazing really these salamanders cooking yeah oh that's like, what? so cool this is great <laughs> i love Let's that oh my gosh <laughs> you'll have to send photos i will do, do you sure. guys post like on the website of the you know the murals and the work that you're doing yeah we're we're not as good I think Ariel definitely wants us to get better yeah. at our, uh, you know, like updates and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
I know it's like in a perfect world, I would love to, you know, it's, it's almost like I would love to have a little, you know, team of students to just, you know, yeah. do outreach and There's so much magic see what's going on and, and bring it back and, you know, post so it much. in newsletters I mean, or wherever on the site. Yeah. It's hard to capture, right? Because it's, it's yeah. like every college every day has you're its getting own. Something really cool. yeah, I yeah. mean, if the students who are getting ready to come to places like Yale that have mm -hmm. residential college systems mm -hmm. really knew mm -hmm. like how magical the spaces really are. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't think twice right. about any other place. Yeah. Like I yeah. need to get that in my four that years. That experience. Yeah. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, when I, when I tour the colleges, I'm like, I wish I had this yeah. <laughs> when I was in yeah. school. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, the spaces alone are, are awesome. Yeah. Uh, having that, you know, you wake up in the morning and you could go, Yeah. I could go sit in the sandbox and mm -hmm. do like, you know, a little uh, body some, scan, yeah, you know, yeah. and then I could go get a dry cappuccino. Right, and right. <laughs> go do like a high intensity training in the gym. Exactly. You know, shower up and go to the dining hall. Yeah. And then head off to class. And like, then go to class. My kids right? get up and get burnt toast. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <don't like> <laughs> if I had, I'm trying to think, did I even eat breakfast when I, when yeah, I was in college? Yeah. You know, I had many days where I would just like go mm -hmm, to class and mm -hmm. you'd hear my stomach like, rah, rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it, it really is. And it, it's, beautiful and and the thing about it is you know one of the things i wanted to um do on this podcast was to really show the people behind the scenes that make it make it the place yeah. that it is yeah. you know because it wouldn't be able, it wouldn't happen if if we didn't have people like you who are really dedicated to you know making this a space for for students where they felt like this is my home mm -hmm. you know my home away mm -hmm. from home mm -hmm. and and that's that's pretty awesome Again, okay, um, just like when you and I were off offline talking about raising kids, like yeah, it takes a village. Yes, yes. I'm I'm a small, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. piece of this giant puzzle, right. of a residential college community where most of the people there mm -hmm. are coming in with that same mentality, yeah, ownership yeah. mentality. What can I do mm -hmm. different to make this better and right. better and better? That's awesome. From the dining manager to the cook to mm -hmm. the dishwasher to the facilities worker yeah. to the ground everybody, keepers, everybody is just yeah. out there doing their job it's you know? so awesome mm -hmm. and, and it's amazing because you know when you sit back and and think about just everyone so when i went through uh uh the emerge program mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. this past year or past uh it started last fall into this year and uh you know we had different um presenters from different parts of the university like different leaders came in to you know, explain finance, explain, you know, HR and different things. And when you, when you start breaking down all of these different areas, you know, the trickle down, like it's okay, you have these main areas, but then when they all just kind of branch down into oh, yeah. our departments mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you realize that you're contributing to this like major, major operation Absolutely. and mm -hmm. that it's the place that it is. And it's, I mean, it, it, I'm always in awe of how, it's like, yeah, all of these things, you know, no matter what, if you're not in the office, it's still, churn, you know, the it's machine still, is still going. Yeah. Yeah. When we go to those yeah. Yale College, I remember the first time I went to Yale College all staff meeting. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> right. And uh, we go across the street to the SSS building, yeah. in this big room. And I look across a sea of faces uh, from all different walks of life right. and all different departments. Yeah. That, and I, I didn't fully understand at the time how we all or kind part of, of this yeah. web you know yeah um but the more i sat around and listened to people and mm -hmm. sponged it up you yeah know, yeah <laughs> i was like oh my gosh rotc and, yeah know, i know like, yeah it's so amazing it's, it was really cool yeah, yeah. it really is mm -hmm. like and and you know even just doing the the podcast and talking to different staff from different areas mm -hmm. you know and and i've had just I, you know i tried to be really diverse in terms of yeah we have all these people from you know, the arts and then, uh, you know, the colleges and then we have, um, uh, you know, YC3, the wellness oh, and, wonderful. uh, you know, uh, the symphony, the mm -hmm. YSO and, and, uh, the fellowships and, you know, I mean, it's, it's really Those amazing. Are cool people. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. Put, the film, film. Put mine recording under yeah. <laughs> somewhere on another page. Don't no, put me with not Corinne at all. And with Kate Greer, <laughs> nope. Please, nope, nope. <laughs> No, and that's the thing. Like I, you know, it's been really exciting just to highlight everyone, and yeah. and you know, it's like I know we all come in and do what we do every day, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I feel like people forget. Like there are so many uh, talents 
that everyone has that contribute to what you know the place that it is mm -hmm. and and if we weren't all committed to doing you know doing right. this job then it wouldn't be the place that it is you know and and it's it's just so cool you know i mean i don't think like not to put you on the spot but like i don't <laughs> i don't know the people that listen to this mm -hmm. whoever does like if they would realize that what you're doing right now is part yeah. of that wheel. Oh, thank right? you. I mean, of <laughs> Appreciate course. That. That's, this is all <laughs> thank you. like, it's part of that wheel. Yeah. And you're going to not only provide something for the university, mm -hmm. for the college system, mm -hmm. and for your own personal growth, yeah, that then, yeah. then is going to be reinvested into the community. It's like, true. It's, just, it's all yeah. a win, right? Yeah, it's so you true. Know? Like, it'll mm -hmm. hopefully plant some sort of seed. Yeah, this is, you your, know? This is your acorn cafe. Yeah, yeah my acorn, know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I how did you come up with that name by the way for the We've acorn? We've tossed some different stuff around, and the acorn is one of the symbols on the Silliman crest. On the Silliman crest, crest yeah. yeah, yeah. So awesome! I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So so yeah. Hopefully, my acorn can grow yeah, into absolutely. you know a nice tree. And, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no, it's so awesome. Um, so I wanted to um, talk a little bit more about uh, you know like you we talked about how the work you do in terms of helping renovate and things mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but, but kind of moving into some of your other duties is, is, uh, assistant director of operations. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what, uh, like, are there certain initiatives in terms of sustainability? I mean, I, we mentioned some specific examples, but are there other, uh, initiatives that you've been working on? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the renovation stuff is kind of like the extra layer that mm -hmm. we, we like to do mm -hmm. over there. As an assistant director of operations, you have a responsibility to the people mm -hmm. and to the space mm -hmm. and to the overall experience, which mm -hmm. really has to do with the financials that come in. Yeah. And how do you how do you move all that stuff around to create a, an, an academic year that's mm -hmm. awesome? Yeah, yeah. You're in a supervisory role to degree mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as almost like a, a parent would be mm -hmm. when their kids are somewhere, you know, making yeah. sure. Like if 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 there's any way in which I'm overseeing or looking after dining being successful, it's mm -hmm. only from a concerned yeah. parent. Yeah, that, yeah. Like I don't <laughs> I don't manage, you know, the, the managers there. That's not right. my job. You know, they but if something's wrong, I'd be the person to advocate, mm -hmm. you know, for for the students. Mm -hmm. Um but to get back to your your question was really if there's any kind of initiatives right now, and I think, um, you know, when when head of colleges change over mm -hmm. that transition, or when staff changes over, mm -hmm. you know, it's an opportunity for growth yeah, in yeah. a positive direction. Right. And so you look to their leadership and to try to figure out what they want to do, mm -hmm. and then those are the things that you move forward with. So, for example, right now, you know. Hawk Baskin Summers is amazing at streamlining an operation, mm -hmm. making it more efficient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, putting the lanes where they need to be. Yeah. Um, and so we've been working with that. Uh, whether it's having our reservation system, you know, we have all yeah. these spaces that people that reserve every people day. Re yeah. You know, we used to have students managing it here and mm -hmm, there, opening mm -hmm. doors. Doors yeah. wouldn't be open. People right. Were, you know, <laughs> like, hey, you know, I'm trying to get into the movie theater. Right. You know. And so immediately, you know, she provided a direct impact. Or let's go mm. into a Google Calendar. Or let's do it this nice. way. Mm -hmm. and so we've been adapting kind of all of our our back office you yeah. know, picture, kind of the, the Wizard of Oz, yeah. you know, the, right, right, you know, behind the <laughs> moving those things. Yeah. So uh, we've been doing a lot of that mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. um, we, for example, I mentioned that I was kind of a list guy. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible at it, but I, I love <laughs> but it. But you, you do, know? yeah. <laughs> My list gets so big, yeah. you don't get done this. But, right. um, and we joke around about stuff like that mm -hmm. a lot. We have a really light uh, office there. But uh, mm -hmm. we adapted something called Asana, which you might know about. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just an online platform to mm -hmm. be able to share our, share, our punch uh, lists. Task lists, So we're yep. constantly going in and yeah. doing stuff for each oh, other. Oh, that's great. Talking things off. Yeah. You get a little check mark, you get a unicorn. I mean, yeah. What's better than getting oh, that's a, so cool. a unicorn? <laughs> so it has badges. Yeah, yeah. It just pops up like hey, <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I like that. You'll have to send <laughs> yeah, me the for send sure. what's it called again? Asana. Asana. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We of course use the free. Yeah, of yeah. And that's so, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because that's that's something I've uh, been working on is to sort of uh gather all the different tools that mm -hmm. departments are mm -hmm. using mm -hmm. to 
you know, uh, accomplish whatever tasks yeah, they, yeah. they have. Um, and, you know, I it's hard for me to get a handle on because I don't get to talk, sit down and talk to everyone mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So it's so pretty soon we're doing a, like an IT survey um, because it's things like that. I don't you know, I don't know if you're the only college using it, which, you know, you never know if other Maybe. folks uh, Maybe, yeah. will find that useful. And and uh, yeah, so so it's pretty cool to hear that, you know, you guys are. Yeah, I mean, when you're working when when you're working with, uh, you know, faculty yeah uh, they often have great things that are coming from i think she uses that at her lab yeah uh, yeah manage, that's uh, awesome stuff for their lab and so, that's great Let's yeah that's so that's so not cool. uh you know the the, the sexy thing but right, it's, right. it's the thing that's kind of top of mind that we're constantly trying to work yeah. on really cleaning you know now I'm, i've been seven years in this job mm -hmm. and it's time to really have all the back of the office stuff really crisp yeah yeah you know you always <laughs> want it but you're right. running you know, like a chicken you're with react their head cut off. Yeah, so, like constant react. So this year has been yeah. about, I'm continuing, you know, we just did a huge winter festival outdoors mm -hmm. where we build these giant huts. Oh, we really? We just took them down, you know. Oh, I'm going to wow. be putting igloos up. We have these igloos that oh, we put up so in, the, cool. uh, in the courtyard. You might have seen these yeah, kind of The clear of, ones? The clear oh, things, so those little cool. bubble things. Yeah. And so I put those up in January, the second week of January. Uh -huh. um, Oh, that's I'll be so helping uh, the Good Life Center a little bit with transition into some new spaces mm -hmm. in the Schwartzman Center. And so those are all kind of the physical stuff oh, that's, that's happening, so yeah. um, you know, and all that while you're figuring out where you are fiscally yeah. for the, for right. the year. Right, right. Um, the normal day-to-day. -day, yeah, yeah, planning out the, the next term's academic, you know, the right. kind of events calendar. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but really the main focus is how do we get this stuff cleaner yeah. so that we can actually operate more efficiently. Exactly, and, yeah, and, and yeah in a leaner way um that's amazing yeah yeah I, I love that and it and if it you know if you need it help let me know thank you I, you know i always <laughs> absolutely do. call yeah. me you know because i love even even if you have something in mind already just mm -hmm. I, I love to hear you mm -hmm. know about mm -hmm. how you problem solving and and yeah. uh you know your approach because it like you said, every college is different. Every uh, assistant director mm -hmm. may approach things differently. Sure. So, um, but it's still nice to hear like how you problem solved and figured it. You know, yeah. figured out what worked yeah. best for your team versus it may. You know, it may or may not work for another college. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, please do. I'd love well, to be a fly always, on the wall. No, well, we always also we know when to reach out to Doris <laughs> or Blaze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, my skill set doesn't go past you know, <laughs> clicking on the website. I'm right. like, wait a second. <laughs> no, it's all good. And we, you know, we're happy to help. You and, guys are great. and oh, I appreciate great. that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blaze, Sheila, uh, mm -hmm. you know, quick shout out to Blaze. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Blaze Marcoya, Sheila Galuli. They're so good. Um, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it without them. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of those, um, it's one of those things where it's like, I, you know, it's a piece that I don't even really worry about because mm -hmm. they, you know, yeah. they handle it. They have it under control and, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's an awesome team. We're small. We're small but mighty, right? Yes. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And we're, you know, look at that. We're, we're almost uh, getting towards the end here. But um, I'm curious, you know, if you could talk a little bit more about, um, you know, your, your interaction with students and like, how do you, uh, incorporate different principles of of deib um mm -hmm. you know into your role and also like your how you um you know how you work with students or mentor students yeah. even yeah, yeah um so again a unique privilege to be able to basically work inside of their mm -hmm. their home yeah yeah you know it's a great way um, to put it like and uh so i think early on in my career uh, it was um i didn't know how to translate that uh, as effectively as i do now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um you know i use the example of working in dining services when people would walk in you were a dining manager mm -hmm. how can i help you yeah you were in the services mm -hmm. of the students mm -hmm. and that kind of changed when i went into the administrative role in the residential college it felt a lot more like i was part of the family mm. um and so the more you just you feel comfortable with that yeah yeah the more you can engage with students mm -hmm. really comfortably yeah, um, yeah and break through with some great conversations that's great um and they start small and when you see the years of growth mm -hmm. you see that pattern the arch, right, right. you know uh it becomes evident of what how you have to do it right yeah 
Um, and so they might start small with a with a conversation in an elevator. Yeah, yeah. Um, to something you know in passing at mm-hmm. a coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Um, to uh, you know to working together on something. Yeah. Uh, folks have kind of gotten to know me as someone who will always give them some tasks that they don't know how to do. Right, right. Um, I'm really big into doing that. Uh, you know, uh, Steve, a couple of days ago, went down and, and primed the outside of some cabinets that never really oh, got really? in his life, you know. <laughs> like, let's go down. Awesome. You know? um, and I always find great value in doing those things yeah. with them. Again, like the the wellness center, you know, building the sandbox yeah. in there. That was with students. Um, you know, we took drills and we built a subflooring in, oh, wow. in an old office <laughs> yeah you know we c- cut out with a jigsaw yeah you know, the circle to put the sandbox in oh that's I so cool i had them do it not me <laughs> really um you know we had students come early at the end of summer to paint the walls because facilities would have painted it but just mm-hmm. white yeah yeah know? but they were cool they wanted us. something like we wanted to do a, a nice yeah. you know chill vibe in yeah. there and so it was like a light green or whatever right. it was you know eucalyptus or something yeah. <laughs> and uh and so they did that you know they do a, a all that stuff um mm-hmm. and in turn it, it gives them a sense of value yeah like they, like they own it yeah. right like yep, that, exactly. this is my space and that's why that's what really makes it successful mm-hmm. is that they feel like they own it yeah you know that is so cool um, because you you treat you also treat your own property differently mm-hmm. you know you mm-hmm. take pride in it yeah you know you're not going to trash it or no. you know no. and and it does give them that sense it, it's almost it's almost like their first introduction to like it really Home is. Home ownership, right? But you start doing that with people yeah. and like you might feel like it's just a couple of people, mm-hmm. but you know, through this four year cycle, mm-hmm. you turn around and there's a lot of students that you've yeah. been able to support or right. provide an impact in some yeah. different way. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you're just there, like parents, you just if yeah. you're there to experience the moments. Yeah. You know, I know recently, um, with this uh, winter festival that we do. It's a pretty big event, and we bring folks from all over campus are mm-hmm. welcome to come. Mm-hmm. We don't close the doors uh, to, to people. Mm-hmm. But the first night, it was rainy. Ah. You know? And so we're like, man, we're going to have to punt. What are we doing? Let's <laughs> yeah. go down to our student buttery, and let's put, you know, make it look like the holidays threw up down there with oh, any yeah. piece of decoration right, we still have, right. you know. Which I can imagine, because um, the butteries are beautiful to begin with. They're cool. You know? Yeah. And so we just put lights all over and mm-hmm. stuff, and, you know... Uh, we wanted to put like board games out since we were inside. Mm-hmm. So I go to like a big lot or something. I'm mm-hmm. looking around. I see these uh, indoor um, indoor snowball. Oh, yes. I was like, get it out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. Let me get like four I boxes bought, of yeah, this. Yeah, me too. You know? <laughs> I did that for like, my kids. It's yeah. great, right? Yeah. Got like 80 snowballs. Yeah. Put them in little baskets. <laughs> and you so know, cool. students came down uh-huh. and uh, no one really touched them, but oh, really? you know, I just snagged one and chucked and it right at the yeah. college head. You know, and then before you know it, we're all just there's just this huge them, snowball yeah. fight. You know, and it, those ice breaking moments. Yes, yes. You know, or like uh, even that night, there was a it's right next to the basketball court, and, mm. and like you said in the bio, like I like playing sports. It's yeah, fun. You know. Yep. Um, and uh, you know, we're me and the head of college who's a great basketball player by the way Mm -hmm. um we took on a couple different people and two on two and three on three Uh, and it's just you know i didn't know these kids right there are silman students might be sophomores yeah never met them in my life i see them like two ships in a night yeah but that moment that moment of competing now i've seen them since Mm -hmm. hey what's going you know yeah there's small talk happening there might be another moment that we have and by the end of it when they're walking across that graduation we might get a hug in yeah remember that they had people that were supporting them right. in the residence. So Yeah, that's so true. And that that's yeah. come up before in other episodes where it's like that that one could be a short moment or time that you have with students and it just makes an impact mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. it's not uh it's not just in the moment, it's a lasting impact. Yes. Yeah. And something that may resonate for them, you know, later on, mm-hmm. like when they're adults maybe working at a university absolutely <laughs> no we used to preach that in the restaurant business like find a way to make a lasting impression at yeah. your table you know for wow. a server right yeah what are you going to do what's going to be the difference maker right everyone can go and spend their hard-earned money somewhere right so what are you going to do that's going to make it different yep you know um and give me an example of what you could do you know yeah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, so tuck, cool. an old, tuck a chair in for yeah. her grandma yeah. you know or, yeah. like hold the baby the, bit, yeah know. the <laughs> little personal touch right? yeah yeah, what are you going to do that right. when they walk away, like, that was nice. And that person was yes. so lovely. You know? Yeah, and it makes you come back, mm-hmm. you know. and <laughs> Find a way to make a lasting impression. Right. You know? 
Oh, that's so awesome. I, I love this. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to talk um, a little bit more. We're almost at our hour already, believe it or not. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to talk about, like, what are some of the other, you know, maybe future aspirations you have mm. at, at the college mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. other things that you'd like to get involved in, it, it's, whether it's at Silliman or yeah. just Yale College as a whole? I've been really lucky, you mm-hmm. know, to do things with the Good Life Center folks, uh, to do things. Um, I work now as like one of the lead ADOs, mm-hmm. uh, so that's a lot of fun. Yeah, because I get to sit inside of different rooms. Yep, yep. with really smart people. They're saying mm-hmm. lots of cool things. Right, with, and <laughs> and like, and be there uh, to if there's anything that I know from my seven years or from mm-hmm. whatever I've learned in life, yeah. I can kind of provide that knowledge. It just I love brain building with folks. Yeah, and that's so really I get an cool. opportunity to do that. Right, and that's really great. Yeah, and I'll keep on, I'll keep on doing that. You know, mm-hmm. at this point. In my life, having a, a five-year-old and a ten-year-old, yes. <laughs> like that's that's it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I can make uh, work be awesome, that's great too. Exactly. But it's really all about, all about selfishly. It's yeah. all about them and yeah. my wife, and and making sure that my yeah. family is is where it needs to be. Right. Um. And so this job here, yeah, provides that. Provides the you space know, for you to do that. I, right. I haven't gone home once holding my wheel tight. Yeah. Remember that feeling? Yes. With that job you didn't like. Yeah. Going home like, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. you know, never feeling stressed out. Never, and, you know. And yeah. now, in you know, in four days or so, uh, we're all gonna kind of have a little have some downtime. breathing room. Yeah. When do you get that in the outside world? Never. You don't get that. <laughs> you I don't. used to. There's a guy. His name is Sammy, and he's uh-huh. he's doing uh, great stuff in the uh, dining services department. He's like one of the area mm-hmm. directors. He's a really mm-hmm. nice guy. I I grew up working at this Italian concept with him. Mm-hmm. We were both managers. Mm-hmm competing to uh-huh. go out of the best restaurant <laughs> really but, and uh you know i went off and came over here and mm-hmm. he continued growing with the operation that he was in mm-hmm. and the holiday season would come around mm-hmm. you know and i would call him around this time and i'd be like sammy what's going on yeah she's like ah oh, you know i'm over here in the restaurant selling yeah. gift cards for oh, when it gets really? slow you know <laughs> i'm like oh yeah i'm about to go out on like a 13 day <laughs> <laughs> vacation <laughs> right to mother yale you know <laughs> And I'm like, you should come. You should come over. Yeah, He's like, no, yeah. I'm good. They're gonna promote me. I'm, I'm good. I did uh, that like two years in a row. Really? He couldn't Until hold he it. Finally, yeah. He, <laughs> he finally the dark came side. over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. That's you know, awesome. This this university affords us a quality of life. It that's really unparalleled. does. The yes. position I have as an 11 month employee mm-hmm. gives me an additional. Uh, that, yeah, that's you know, a really thing nice. Pr- yeah. That I can spend some time with my family and maybe right. a, some world travel. Yeah. And and yeah. enjoy life with them and it's awesome so when you ask me about my aspirations it's going to continue in developing silliman yeah you know yeah. when when i came here and uh, uh i saw there's an opportunity to run it like my own mm-hmm. business our mm-hmm. own business yeah had a college's business and, right and, and whatever trickles down I'll, I'll put that into place yeah um i was like oh there's so much work so much work yeah do. so much to do you know i'll never feel satisfied right but i want right. to get to the place where you can go into our files and you can easily find things that yeah. are comprehensive, right? <laughs> right. You right. can go into every room uh-huh. and it, the feng shui and everything is the way it's yeah. supposed to be. Right. Um, right. And I think if I'd ever get to that point at Silliman, mm-hmm. I'd probably want to do it at another college too. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'd want every single one to be as to be good as possible. Yeah. And, then, and parallel to that, growing, supporting the university and mm-hmm. Yale College mm-hmm. as a whole. You know, how can we make this thing? Yeah. Work better. Even better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so amazing. I love that. And oh, there are so many things you mentioned today that that resonate for me because it's um, you know, just your approach. Uh most folks when I when I think back to my college years and and how the you know, the dining halls were mm-hmm. and and how they would were run, it was strictly just dining hall. You know, yeah. <laughs> you come yeah. here just to eat some food and mm-hmm. go to class and that yeah. that was it. It wasn't didn't feel like home, yeah. you know, it did, yeah. and, and I, you know, I, I didn't stay on campus. I was a commuting student, but that made it even worse because I just had that I kind know. of detached experience. And, you know, it's just wonderful to hear um, just your enthusiasm for, for doing this and, and not, you know, it's not just a job uh, yeah. for you. So, so that's really, really awesome. Well, the residential colleges are they're in business for a reason. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, there's a reason why we have them. Harvard has them. Houston right. Has them. You know, Stanford has them. Yeah. Like, this is an additional special thing. Yeah. And 
we'd be doing a disservice to the institution if we didn't try really hard right. to make it real special. Yes, right. exactly, mm. exactly. Um, oh, so yeah, I could talk to you all day, Sergio. It's always the same. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you know, I'm gonna start wrapping up. Um, okay. Do you have uh, advice for for folks who maybe you know either want to work in in the same kind of field of work that you're doing or or just in general, like if they're looking to enhance their own, uh, maybe in the colleges, you know, their own uh, sustainability efforts, you know, like uh, I'm curious how you, um, you know, coming into this role, uh, sometimes you don't know what your limits are, you know, so yeah. so a lot of times people don't even ask, like if, if who knew that you could transform a space and that's okay, yeah. you know, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if a lot of people, mm-hmm even think to approach anything like that because they assume that, oh, you can't we can't. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. do you have advice for, for folks who, who, you know, would love to uh, do what, you know, do what you do at Sylvan College, whether it's in the colleges or elsewhere at, at the no, university? No, I mean, it's just, it, you have so many ex- different ex- expressions that mm-hmm. people, t- you know, yeah. you miss every shot you don't take. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, yep. you just be fearless and mm-hmm. take ownership mentality wow. in everything that you do. That's awesome. You know, and if you just follow those really simplistic things, you know, mm-hmm. just do the things that you want to do and mm-hmm. it'll fall into place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. That's awesome. So, so, um, and then just to wrap up, um, if you could think of at least one, I'm, I'm sure there are many, but maybe the most, uh, significant lesson that you've learned, um, as you've sort of helped build this community at mm-hmm. Silliman college and, and also the sustainability part, but, but um, like like we've been saying, it's a home away from home mm-hmm. uh, for students. So has there has there been one uh, major lesson that you've learned along the way? Uh, yeah, I think it extends a little further beyond that. But uh, Silliman College has been a reaffirmation that you have to surround yourself with good people to be mm. successful. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't you know, do it alone, you right? Can, you cannot. And and uh, Silliman is successful because it's a testament to the people. Who work there not mm-hmm. just one but mm-hmm. the many yeah um and you know you have to be able to find that yeah mold yeah of the people that are like-minded mm-hmm. or on the opposite side right or right. you guys exchange ideas and yeah. are always battling but in a progressive in a way, good way yeah in a good yeah. way that, that moves the needle forward right um and so you want people that are willing to do those things with you yeah and it, it involves a compromise mm-hmm. finding common ground mm-hmm. and like you just like if you're not willing to do those things yeah it, then it's not going to be a good experience <laughs> right <laughs> it's going to be a, hard, uh, a difficult it's one be difficult <laughs> yeah. the, the wheel's going to get yeah tighter when you i go mean home. you really have to you, you yeah. have to mm-hmm. figure out how to work with a team mm-hmm. and 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 do it in, in a positive way yeah. so that we can make stuff happen. It's the know? same lessons I tell my 10 year old mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> yes. <you know? laughs> me too. Me too. Even my 20 year old, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> you know, I, t- I tell him like, yeah, you, same kind of thing. I'm yeah. like, you're going to encounter people yeah. that you just don't vibe with or, mm-hmm. you know, things aren't, where you want to be, yeah. but you have to figure out a way to... to like your five-year-old sister sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You guys have to be able to sit at this table right. and eat food together. <laughs> exactly. Dad can make lunch, please. Exactly. <laughs> right, you know, can we get through today? You yeah. know, yeah. Um, that's awesome. I, you yeah. know, again, um, Sergio, I, I'm really, you know, we appreciate you and appreciate folks like you who, who work in, in the colleges and uh, you're sort of like that first line uh Sure. Uh, yeah. With students, mm-hmm. they're the first experience. You know, literally, they wake up. You know, they go to yeah. sleep and wake yeah, yeah. up in the colleges, yeah. and you know, it's um, your your uh, commitment to making that experience uh, a positive one for students, and and it incorporates so many different things, like their you know their mental health, their wellness, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know, and once they have just like for us, once we have all of those in place, where we can sort of have room to grow it's the same for students where they you know once they have that uh available to them then they can focus on their studies and, right. and hopefully you know be successful yeah. yeah you know and and it's so important um so i you know i 
I had an awesome time talking to oh, you man. today. We Thank never, you. we never, we've never really had a chance. I know to we sit could do this and... without the mics. Yeah, other exactly. Time as well at the coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got to come over. I keep saying yeah. I will, but I, I definitely in. have to. You'll see me plop down on the first floor. Yeah, in your office yeah. Somewhere. That's so awesome. Um, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, Thank you same here. Absolutely, mm-hmm. my pleasure. Uh, you know, and like I said, your your dedication to to the residential experience, I think, is like, it's really inspiring because. Um, it, you know, it brings me back to just, you know, just norm, normal values that mm-hmm. parents instill in their That's kids, it. you know, your, your uh, work ethic, mm-hmm. you know, and how you approach your work, mm-hmm. your job here as, you know, this is my house and That's I'm, it. you know, I'm creating uh, something that, you know, it's my property, you know, and when you respect your prop, your own property, I think it just, it trickles down and, and it's just, again, same as I said, with my first job that I was getting paid, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. to learn, yeah. I'm getting paid to, to remind myself of what good morals and right. all the different things are you yes. know, every single day by just doing my job. It's so, that's so awesome. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, thank you so much again. I'm I'm so glad you thank made you. it, even though it's pouring rain. <laughs> that was fun. It was an experience. Yeah, and and yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. way over. You know, hopefully you didn't have to swim through a puddle or anything. <laughs> but I, you know, I appreciate uh, you know taking your time today. I appreciate you. you giving me thank your you, time. Maurice. And um, yeah, uh, just thank you. Thank yeah. you for everything that you do for the college and yeah. and. Um, so now we're just going to wrap up. Uh, okay. uh, as everyone knows, we you know we have our episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and also uh, SoundCloud, and you can find our page on on the Yale College site as well. We have a Yale College Voices page, uh, Yale College Voices on Instagram. So you know, like, share, and follow. <laughs> and um, you know, again, I just want to you know thank you for. Uh, uh, you know, taking the time today and, and, uh, it's great getting to know you. Like, you know, we, we've we've always interacted yes, in meetings, yes. but never really on a personal it's level. It's totally my pleasure. Yeah. yeah. This is an awesome thing you're doing for thank the university. You. Awesome. Thank you. This is great. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can't um, wait to hear someone else's cause I'm not listening <laughs> to my voice. <laughs> I know that was one of the things I had to get over because yeah. even now, uh, you know, when I go back and listen to the recordings, I'm kind of like, not listening to my voice yeah, like i don't just, <laughs> just skip over it. Yeah. Skip on this. <laughs> but um yeah i'm the same way i yeah. you know i i just uh i don't know it's one of those things you don't want to hear your sure. own voice you know mm-hmm. but um yeah i mean again it uh everything you do is is inspiring sergio so thank you uh really appreciate it and and we'll just wrap up for today all so, right you know thank you again yeah till the next awesome